Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Human uh, embryonic stem cells, those are stem cells that are taken from human embryos, hold promise to treat all sorts of diseases. This is the first time that they're going to try out these stem cells to help sick human beings. They've used them in animals for years, but this will be the first time in the United States and probably in the world that they're going to try them out in sick human beings. Now, take a look at some of the video that we're going to show you. We're going to show you video from the actual lab, the Geron Corporation. We shot there in 2006. Seven. This is the actual lab where they make these stem cells. Again, they come from human embryos and they show promise in treating all sorts of diseases from spinal cord injuries to diabetes. Karen? So what are they going to do exactly with these stem cells? What they're going to do is they're going to find around 10 people who've had some kind of a spinal cord injury, let's say a car accident, and they're unable to walk. They're going to take these embryonic stem cells, they're going to treat them in the lab in a certain way, and use them to see if they can possibly help these people and also if they're safe to use. They want to make sure that using these embryonic stem cells doesn't actually hurt these people. Hopefully they will help these people to walk again. And also, of course, we've uh, followed a huge moral debate surrounding the use of embryonic stem cell research. Where did they get these embryos? Where they got these embryos is from fertility labs, Karen. We're all familiar with this. A couple can't have children the natural way. They go into a lab and they make embryos. Well, often they don't use all those embryos that they make, and some of them sit in, in frozen in liquid nitrogen for years and years. So they go to these fertility clinics, they get these embryos, and to put it bluntly, they have to destroy these embryos in order to turn them into a stem cell treatment. And that's, of course, where the controversy comes in, and that is why this research has been relatively slow over the years. A lot of people object to it.